Today we're going to see how with Aqua's new dynamic syscall profiling feature, you can protect against Linux kernel exploits such as DirtyCal. In the upper part of the screen we can see an Ubuntu host and looking at the password file we can see we have access to all the passwords. In the bottom part of the screen we're going to run a container and we're going to mount the directory that contains the password file as temp in the container and designate it read only. Now we're inside the container and we can see the password file. But since it's designated as read only, when we try to execute touch on the same file, we can see it's a read-only file and we're not allowed to change it. Now I'm going to run the dirty cow exploit on the temp password file. I'm adding a user called cow user with root permissions. Now we're going to look at the password file again on the host and as we can see the cow user appears inside the file. So basically we managed to break out from the container into the host so we can really do anything here and we're root on the host as well. Now let's see how we can prevent this with Aqua. Let's look at the image of the container we just ran. We will use the profiler to learn the container's behavior prior to the exploit. Normally this is what you do in a testing environment. And we can see the parameters change as the profile is being created. There are about 50 or 60 whitelisted syscalls here, out of a total of more than 300 that are available on Linux. We'll set the profile to enforce mode so that it will prevent non-whitelisted system calls from being used by this container. Now if I try to run the exact same exploit as before, what I can see is that I'm getting a can't fork message. And this is because we blocked the syscall that was being used in this, in this exploit. So to recap what we've done, before we profiled the system calls being used and whitelisted them, we were able to use Dirty Cow to change a read-only password file to read-write and introduce a root user uh, to the host and having profiled the container and whitelisted only the system calls that are being used we were able to block this exploit. Of course Dirty Cow is no longer a zero day but the principle here is that we didn't need to know what the attack vector was. We only needed to block access to a very wide range of syscalls by using this least privilege approach of whitelisting only the ones that are used. And so this approach can protect against unknown vulnerabilities by virtue of reducing the attack surface significantly and blocking the use of system calls that are not actually being used by your container. And we can apply this per image across your entire application.